How's it going guys? It's Kevin from Subi Speed. Two Minute Tuesdays are back. You guys unanimously wanted more of these videos when I asked, so hopefully we're able to make these more of a common occurrence, I'd say every other week or so. This week we're talking about the all important air oil separator and how it works. Let's put two minutes on the clock see if I can knock this out. First, to understand how an AOS works, we need to get an idea of how the PCV system works. PCV stands for positive crankcase ventilation. The reason why we have this system in place is because with internal combustion engines, obviously they're not perfect. So when we have that fuel and air being injected and mixed in the combustion chamber, a certain amount of that actually slips past the piston rings into the crankcase, which is what we call blow by. And that leads to the crankcase becoming pressurized. Not something we want because that can lead to the seals and gaskets blowing out and failing. So what the PCV system does is utilize a PCV valve to help meter those pressurized gases and allow them to escape and basically recycle them through the intake system. And that is where we run into a bit of an issue. Obviously inside the crankcase, we've got the oil lubricating all the moving parts. And we also have oil vapor that mixes with the blow by and escapes through the PCV valve. A couple reasons why this is bad. One, Oil vapor in your intake air essentially lowers the octane rating of your fuel, which means you're more likely to experience engine knock, which can lead to your engine going bye-bye. Another reason why it's bad is because oil and carbon can build up over time in your inner cooler, your intake manifold, your valves, and it just leads to even more issues. It's even more prevalent in modern day direct injection engines because those valves aren't being washed with fuel with it being uh, injected directly into the combustion chamber. Now what an air oil separator does is reroute that PCV system. They're all a little bit different, but they mostly go through the same process. So we take this IAG one, for example, it reroutes the PCV system through this canister, which has different baffles and filters to help separate that oil vapor from the air. And then it takes that clean air and reroutes it back into the PCV system while dumping the oil that it collects back into the engine where it belongs. This one in particular also has a coolant running around the canister to help maintain the operating temperature of that oil to prevent any condensation, which is why sometimes you see that milky white substance in catch cans. And speaking of catch cans, most of you guys, or some of you guys are probably gonna ask, what is the difference between an AOS and a catch can? Uh, when, while they essentially do the same exact thing, Instead of dumping the oil back into the engine, a catch can just collects the oil that it captures inside that canister. So you have to check on it from time to time and dump it when it's full, where an AOS is more of a set it and forget it type of setup. And that is basically how an AOS works, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button for more content. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.